to bring that microphone around a bit. That's lovely. Uh, so, uh, with Neil Baker, he is Dave Stringer. Neil, before the match, we looked at the scores in week uh, midweek for Belper and for Leek Town, and I must admit, we were thinking, how are you going to get through this? What were your thoughts before the match? I thought it was going to be a tough game, which I for three quarters of the game it was. In fact, one each, the game was in the bowls. Uh, and if it had been a betting man, uh, I'd, I'd have backed their own team at that stage. We'll see equaliser. Because we, uh, we've got a big problem. We uh, seem to dominate games in the first half, which we've done in all three so far. And then uh, our opponents have come out and started much better than us in all three games. Uh, that's a massive concern. And we couldn't get ourselves going. Uh, but the equaliser actually worked for us. Some of them stepped up again. Um, we were concerned at that stage we were getting the switches of play. We changed our shape to try and counter that. And, uh, you know, we got four was a score on the break, which we proved to them. Yeah, you dominated most of the first half. I think the Belper came into it a little bit towards the end, but you dominated. And yet you're only one up. What did you, what did you say to the players at half time? I just said, uh, we have got to do. Tactically, we were, we were fine. That was my concern because we changed it a little bit. We'd gone with a flat three in midfield rather than a deep one, two higher. Um, because we knew they'd get their full backs out of the pitch. That, that was measured to do that. We wanted to get some pressure on in midfield. If uh, six and eight were, done, were, were making the play, which they were, you know, we you stop them. And it was the centre also had most of the ball, which you know, they were thumping it forward. If all that four can't do yeah. that, then that's a problem to us. Uh, so I didn't, you know, I didn't have a go. I had nowhere near because I thought we played well. I just said we both were doing the right things at the right time, which any other manager would say to them. But we, we don't, we, we can't sustain it, and that's a real concern. Yeah, and one person who really did make a difference, I think, was a poacher, but he tired very much towards the end, didn't he, when it was time on the, on the pitch? At half time, yeah. Hey, yeah, he tired. I don't think I'd get him back out of the dressing room, really, but uh, we did. Um, and but my only concern with taking Aaron off was, and Ross at the time, was that it makes us small. So the set players are a concern. We looked we looked big today, and we didn't look like that like conceding and until we took two of the big lads off. So uh, I was conscious of that, but I thought that Tom and uh, Tricky would keep the ball better uh, and, and get us help us to get up the pitch and play a little bit more in there. Or, you giving yourself a big pat on the back for the changes you made? They made a difference to your side. No, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with your changes. Um, I'm, I'm delighted for Jake Avery. Um, I haven't seen a lot of him, as I said, in pre season. And he only played one game that I saw, and that was the entry top school area. It was fantastic. Um, what, what he's got is good qualities. I wasn't sure he was a goal scorer. He played most of his football as a wide player, right or left. We're not playing with wingers at the moment, so he, uh, he played down the middle and it was a real threat. Plus, I'd, I'd always planned to play because it was his, uh, his last club. And you know what players coming back to the last clubs can do. They've got an extra incentive to do well. And uh, he was pleased as much when he scored the goal. I'm sure he was. I've been told not to big him up as well, you know, so uh, is that right? Well. In football, you're only as good as your last game, um, and and he's a good player. We can have it like that. We go to juice again on Tuesday, and again next Saturday. Uh, One-offs are not what we're after. If we want to be where we want to be, everybody can produce it. Looking ahead to Tuesday, then Trafford have lost, I think, against Witness, so you have got that game. Uh, so how are you looking forward to that one? Well, I look forward to every game, particularly. After, after Tuesday's game, we trained on Thursday and they were really good. They worked really hard. I've said to them that I was disappointed with the forwards. That we hadn't uh, looked as dangerous, looked as potent, looked as threatening as we could be in, in any of the games. Today that changed. Um, 
playing the three forwards. Aaron certainly helped in the first half. He did some ball up and now you can build up on him. And you've got some pace and skill with Rob and some real pace with Jake. And of course the question now is FA Cup, you're through to the first qualifying round. The next step of, uh, of clubs come in, it's the Northern Premier League Premier Division come in. What would you like as an ideal sort of uh, draw? The, the bottom ranked club in the competition at home, where you stay. But not from too far away. <laughs> no, as long as we play, it doesn't matter. Uh, although the chairman will have to pay for the coach, so uh, maybe that is a stumbling block. Yeah, I'm saying they're not from too far away. But one last thing is, your chairman, because I've been talking to him, has given you a huge incentive to get through to the first round of the FA Cup, hasn't he? No, not to me, to the players. I don't want to last thing. It's dangerous. Too long on the plane without the smoke. Uh, so if he wants to take the rest of the players, I'm sure they'll, they'd love that. I'll stop it over. Uh, Wouldn't you like the crews to get there? Yes, I'll go on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just, um, um, we'll all be with you, because uh, he definitely said in front of everyone he'd take the media team as well, didn't he? I heard that. Yes, yeah. so, so we're all hoping for a nice trip to Las Vegas, but make sure you win the next round, please. OK, thank you very much, uh, Neil. That is uh, Neil Baker in conversation with Dave. When, when, when you're ready. Oh, God, he's, I mean, oh, he's there. Right, we're going to give this young man that headset. He's got a fight on for us. Tell me, just make sure he's got that microphone nicely to his... That's it, you've got it, Bob. You got it? My radio is here, this is what happens. That's it, that's it, that's it. Just the other way, that's it, that's it. That, brilliant. Okay, Dave. Jake, it's me. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jake, Jake's decided he's, he, he loves being filmed as he's <laughs> watching. It must be fantastic to come to your former club, the club you've just left, and put on such a great performance. Yeah, it's nice um, to get an FA Cup wherever we play. Um, it's not just because it's a former club, but whoever we was playing against today, I was always going to put in a good performance to try and keep my shirt in the team. Yeah, you've uh, not really played that much for league, have you, so far, as first start. When did you know you were going to start? Um, yeah, so it's the game, and the first two I come off, come on the first game, played five minutes, and Tuesday night didn't get on. Um, Gaffer told me, uh, in the yeah, lineup today yeah. when he was doing the, the team talk, so um, I knew I had to put a performance in, I knew I had to get goals, so that was the aim today, and luckily I've done that, so hopefully keep my shirt now. What was the reason you came to League Town? Um, well, Bakes gave me a ring um, before pre season started, um, I had a few clubs ring me, and um, I know Leek's a well run club, um, behind the scenes, they do things properly. And a few lads who I'd played with before, he talks to, they've also played for Leeds, so everyone's saying good things, so I thought I may as well give it a go. And do you think it's working out for you so far? Well, it's early doors, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to keep my head down and keep working hard in training and in the games, and hopefully um, we get promotion this year, that's the aim. We've always been told by players that uh, training at Leek is, is fun, it's good, is, is that right? Yeah, training uh, Tuesday, Thursday. Um, Thursday's more of a working on the opponents that day and how we're going to shape up and set pieces and that. So, yeah, it's always learning with new managers. But Bates does know his stuff, so, um, yeah, definitely enjoyable. And uh, you, um, what, what, what do you think about when you're not chosen? Because you obviously, you know, you want to play uh, from the very start. You went 90 minutes every match. You're sitting on the bench and then you have five minutes and then you have match. Why are you thinking, have I made the right decision? <coughs> Yeah, definitely, it gets, you, it gets your head down sometimes when you're not in the team, but with the players we have here, every, every person's got quality, um, so I know I wasn't just going to walk straight in, I've got to wear my shirt. Um, after a couple of games, you will get head down, but I just know I will get my, my time, um, but when I do get my shirt, I've got to make sure everything into it started. And the supporters for League Town, what can they expect from What sort of player are you? What, what do you put into a game? What do you give to a team? Um, quick and direct, um, try and create chances, try and score goals, just to be as positive as I can really on the ball. Um, just going forward and hopefully um, get as many goals and assists as I can this season. And uh, you certainly started off well with your first start, didn't you? Yeah, um, like I say, when you wear that shirt, you've got to put everything into it else. You won't get a sniff, so that was the aim, and it's uh, uh, pulled off today. I've been told by the chairman not to big you up too much. I think uh, it's a bonus in your contract. <laughs> at all. I know, I've, not, I've got no bonuses. Uh, 
I've just got to keep my head down and keep doing what I did today. Okay, well, you certainly, and you know, you entertained us up here, entertain the crowd. I don't think you entertained the Gresley fans, though. <laughs> Gresley? Gresley? Sorry, not Gresley, the, the bell. Oh, no, well, it's all, uh, it's all fun, <laughs> isn't it? But yeah, now I've enjoyed it today, so hopefully we can roll on Tuesday and get a win in the league. Okay, so are you expecting to keep your place? No, no, never. Not with the players we've got, and um, like I say, some lads didn't get on today, you'll be fresh for Tuesday, so we'll just let the gaffer decide. And uh, I'm sure he'll make the right decision, whatever he makes. Yeah. Thanks very much for your no time, Jake. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.